Hello again. You know, I've got some what I think is exciting news to share with you. We believe it's good news, God news. And uh, I'm going to let them introduce themselves and tell you all about it. But there's some changes taking place with our team, our staff. And we absolutely believe, as we've prayed about this and talked about this, that God's in this, that we've seen people moving to positions that they really want to be and God's calling them to. So that's exciting. It's good for them. It's going to be great for Morningstar Fellowship. We love all of them. We're believing God's best in this and through this. So just stay tuned. Let's see what God's doing, hear what God's doing. And would you please pray this through with them and for them and for the ministry here Good things are coming because our God is a good God. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's Pastor Leo. It's so wonderful to be able to talk with you guys today. We have a transition period that we're about to go into, and I am very, very excited about it. And I think that you all should be, too. Um, coming up in, a, in the next couple of weeks, you will be seeing a transition where I will be moving out as the children's ministry pastor. And we, would have, we will have wonderful Miss Mari and Miss Amy that will be coming in and transitioning in to that role. Um, this transition is a wonderful opportunity for the kids to grow and to learn and to continue to dive in deep into who God is, who Jesus is in their lives, and really embed Jesus into their heart, into their hearts. Where I will be transitioning into is military chaplaincy. As many of you know, I served in the Marine Corps before. God even revealed to me that I'm going to be a, a pastor. And so that time really changed my life and really impacted me. But one thing that was lacking was a really biblical basis of who God is while I was serving. Um, there were times where I felt like I did not get the ample amount of opportunity to hear the true word of God. And I feel this is a space that sometimes we are lacking in. And so my heart, has been for the military community. And God has given me the opportunity to transition into being a chaplain and be able to impact the military uh, service men and women who give their lives and give their all for this country and they deserve to have a spiritual basis to go along with that. So as I am transitioning out, I will not be gone yet. Uh, we will still be here, me and my wonderful family. And you guys will still see us around. Feel free to come up, ask questions, talk with us. Nothing is going to change in that area. This is a wonderful opportunity. This is a wonderful chance for us to continue to grow and broaden our impact to the world. So I am excited. We're all excited here at Morningstar with the staff, and we cannot wait for the transition that's going to be, that's going to be coming. I want to say personally, thank you all for inviting me and my family in to be a part of this beautiful family. And it has been an honor and a pleasure to serve not only you, but your children. And I look forward to what MSTAR Kids is going to be in the near future. Thank you and God bless. Hi guys, we wanted to take a minute to introduce ourselves for those of you who don't know us. My name is Amy Haltman and I've actually been serving at the kids ministry over at the Pennsburg campus since it's opened. Three things I want to tell you that you might not know about myself is when I actually started attending Morningstar Fellowship uh, about a year after it opened here in Quakertown. Uh, number two would be that you know when I was going to college I was actually in a nursing program about halfway through I was like mm, this is not for me. So I ended up graduating with my bachelor's degree in elementary education, which I'm excited that I get to use with working with the kids. And then finally, if I look familiar to you, but you're like, I don't think I know her, it's because you know my sister, Laura Marcus, from the Quakertown campus. So, All right, <laughs> and I am Mari Cohen. Many of you know my face because I have had the honor of being able to lead worship for some years now. Um, three things you might not know about me. I actually got saved at Morningstar Fellowship Quakertown when I was 37. I am not telling you how old I am now. <laughs> 38. <laughs> 38. Yeah, that's it. I'm 38. And I have my bachelor's degree in theater and business, and I actually have my master's degree in elementary education. So God has been laying on my heart that it is time for a change, a new season, and I am, yes, a little bit sad to leave worshiping with you all in the sanctuary, but I am super excited to see what God is going to do as I step in and get to be an M-Star Kids and really educate these kids. Um, Amy and I will be co-leading, mm -hmm. and we are Excited. We're just excited. Yeah, We're very, super excited, very if you excited. can't tell. <laughs> so there's three things that we really mm. want the kids to get out of Kids Church. One, we want them to have fun. It should be fun. Two, we want them to know the love of Christ and how he can change their lives and that he is their Lord and Savior. 
and we want to make it a place where your kids are excited to come into the room and they are excited to learn and grow more. Yeah. So thinking on that excitement and then wanting to come, we are going to be doing something different every month. So the first one coming up is going to be Sunday, December 4th, and it's going to be PJ Day. Day. <laughs> so kids can come dressed in their appropriate pajamas and yep. we will celebrate and get into the Christmas spirit. Yes, we said Christmas. It's yes, already we did. For Christmas. I know. Oh my it's goodness. Crazy. It's going to be awesome though. It's going to be so much fun. So listen, yeah. feel free to come up and ask us questions, but yeah. we are really excited to partner together and partner with the Lord to just Amen. breathe into your kids lives.